Here with Alex Ravlin, the quarterback of the Underwood Eagles. Alex, you're going to the Dome. 47-28 win over Pella Christian there in the state quarterfinals. Just tell me how it feels. Oh, that's a great feeling, especially after the last two years. It makes it a little bit better to finally get over that hump. You mentioned that uh, when I talked to you a couple weeks ago. You said we have to go to the quarterfinals and we have to win because you were 0-2 as a quarterback yep. coming in. Yep. You did that tonight and you made a statement. Just uh, talk to me about the game. Yeah, senior year, finally be able to put the win under my belt. Um, Obviously, they threw punches. Uh, they threw the first one. We were just able to respond uh, blow for blow all night. Yeah, talk about uh, you know that first half. It was back and forth. There was a, uh, you guys turned it over on downs a couple times in the red zone. Just talk about how you were able to keep your composure. Uh, yeah, obviously when you get down there, you want to punch it in. But defensively, uh, we played hard and uh, we made the plays when we needed to. Talk about defensively. Uh, we'll get to your pick six in a minute. But what kind of challenges did Pella Christian present tonight? Uh, obviously, they ran the ball hard, and then when they did throw it through the air, uh, I thought I thought all the DBs made great plays on the ball. Um, everybody across the board just played hard, and that's all you want. Yeah, absolutely. So, Alex, uh, talk about your pick six. Uh, that was kind of the turning point in the game. It felt like Pella Christian was driving to try to make it a one-score game. You pick off Kakarinski, you take it back. Just talk to me about that play. I uh, put myself in the right position at the right time, and he just happened to go right where I was. Yeah, so, uh, Alex, uh, just talk about offensively. You were able to, to run the ball quite a bit tonight, not something you'd done a ton all season. Was that kind of the game plan coming in? Uh, obviously, it's never really the game plan to have me run the ball. I'm usually a pocket passer, but when it's slick and wet like this outside, it's nice to get outside the pocket and use my legs. All right, Alex, finally, uh, I know you don't want to think about it a whole lot right now, but you're headed to the Dome. You're 11-0, and and uh, a lot of people think that you guys are good enough to win a state title. So just talk about uh, kind of how you're going to pre prep for that over the next week. Um, obviously, you're going to clean up our mistakes, uh, figure out who we're going to play, and then hopefully put ourselves in the right position to get a win. All right, Alex, congratulations. Thank you. Here with Nate McHaleson, head coach of the Underwood Eagles, soaking it all in right now. Coach, you guys are headed to the Dome, 47-28 victory over Pella Christian. Just tell me how it feels. Uh, feels really good. Feels really good. We finally got over the hump. It's it's taken three years to obviously get to this point and uh, break the door down, and then we finally got it done. And I couldn't be happier for these guys. Talk to me about this game. Just give me your thoughts. Uh, kind of a up and down game. Uh, wasn't always pretty, um, but I just feel like the the story of the game was when we needed to play. Somebody stepped up and made one. Whether it's Mason has a, had a one handed catch here to extend a drive. Um, you know, Alex with with. You know, two interceptions, one down here in the red zone where I think we were up 27-21 at the time and kind of momentum on their side. Um, just, you know, just so many guys up and down the roster uh, making plays and, and contributing to this thing. Talk about the first half. Uh, you know, it was really back and forth. You guys turned it over twice in the red zone. Just talk about how you guys were able to keep your focus uh, going in the second half. Yeah, we got to clean that up. That's been kind of a problem for us. We, you know, we had a ball to one yard line and, and couldn't get it in four tracks. That's not that's not acceptable, and, and our guys know that. Uh, and, you know, but to their credit, I think that's something that, that could have hurt us in the past um, that we maybe couldn't have recovered from. Um, to their credit, they kept battling and battling and battling and found a way to get this thing done. Talk about defensively, a lot of plays were made, like you said, but uh, Pella Christian was able to move the ball. Just talk about the kind of challenges that they presented on the offensive side and how you guys were able to make adjustments to stop it. Yeah, they're a big physical offense, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, they just – they, they're good at what they do. Uh, they got two really good runners in the back end there with the quarterback and tailback, and then I thought uh, their jet sweep was really effective tonight. So there's just, you know, they use the entire length of the football field, which is very difficult to defend. And uh, you know, like I said, our our guys made stops when we needed to, and and uh, you know, gave our offense. Uh, I think we did we get three turnovers. I think uh, three turnovers. So uh, you know, gave our offense three more cracks and. Uh, you know, uh, bend but don't break, good enough effort, we need to clean some things up. Talk about Alex Ravlin, uh, not only on the offensive side of the ball with three touchdowns, but also two interceptions, one return for a touchdown. Just talk about how badly he wanted this tonight and, and uh, you know, just his performance. Yeah, I think uh, he was over on the sideline here at the end and he just, you could tell he just wanted it so bad uh, with about two minutes there left in the game. And and to be very honest with you, I wanted it so bad for these kids. They worked so hard and, and just to come up short a couple times, I didn't want him to go out, uh, you know, three years in a row in the quarterfinals. And, and I think he woke up this morning determined to do whatever he had to do uh, to get us to this next game. You mentioned to me earlier in the week that this was kind of the monkey on the back of this program the past two years, but all season long, you've just been one game at a time, one game at a time. How did you get your guys up for this and, and be able to, you know, get them to put on a performance like this? Uh, to be honest with you, you know, not much of me, honestly. I think these guys are pretty self-motivated. I think they're motivated by the last two years of, of you know, the shortcomings that we've had. And, um, you know, you could tell the focus. I think this is our best week of practice. We were just we were just dialed in. We were focused. Um, you could tell this group was hungry and, 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 and 
wanted their season to continue. Finally, Coach, uh, you guys, you know, the season's fan. The Dome is fantastic, but the season's not over yet. A lot of people think that you guys could win a state title. So talk to me about just kind of what the preparation, what the message to the team's going to be over the next week before you head up to Cedar Falls. Uh, the message is going to be tonight uh, and over this weekend, let's enjoy what we've accomplished. Let's not take for granted what we've done. Uh, but but the reality of it is, is that we got a game next Friday that we're going to prepare for. Um, and uh, we know that uh, whoever we play uh, is going to be a very, very talented team. Run, uh, not probably the most talented aside from probably the essential that we played all year. Um, and uh, uh, we're going to have our hands full with, with whoever uh, is left remaining. Lastly, Coach, just tell me how the, what this means for the program, the team, the kids, and the community as a whole. Uh, it, it means a lot to, to everybody you just mentioned. Um, you know, obviously our kids within this program right now, but I really, uh, you know, and we talked after afterwards about the, the guys that have laid the groundwork before this team, uh, the 2020 team, the 2021 team. They're a big reason why we're here and a big reason why we're, we were able to get this thing done tonight. All right, Coach, congratulations. Go enjoy it. Appreciate it. Thank you.